Imagine a rabbi is delivering his sermon in a completely empty synagogue. Last Friday, I did exactly that. Before Shabbat, for the first time ever in my life, I had to communicate with my community via internet. I asked a question that bothered me all week. Our tradition says that everything that happens during a week is connected to the Torah portion of that week. Last week we had a double Torah portion, Vayakhel Pekudei. Vayakhel means gathered. It talks about Moses gathering the people for Torah study. The commentators of this Torah portion stress the importance of gathering people together. How can it be then that this week is the week when we tell people not to gather together because of an epidemic? We are closing synagogues. We are telling people to stay home. People are locked in quarantine and, is and isolated. We don't invite guests for Shabbat dinner as we usually do. And instead of our traditional prayers together, we pray on our own at home. To answer this question, I had to remind myself that it was a double Torah portion that week. Vayakhel, gathering, is only the first half of it. The second half is called Pekudei. This Torah portion begins with Moses counting the Jews as individuals. Name Pekudei alludes to individuality and uniqueness of each person. Vayakhel and Pekudei are two seemingly opposite names. The first chapter is talking about unity and togetherness, and the second chapter about being separate entities. The first chapter talks about a society, and the second chapter is talking about the individual. Today, people talk a lot about unity. For its sake, the Western culture is trying to assert that there is no difference between people, groups of people, and indeed, differences between us is what is separating us. If we want to be united, we must ignore our differences. Therefore, we are trying to erase the borders between different countries and claim that all nations, all genders, all cultures, all religions, and all people are exactly the same. The Torah has a different view. The Torah believes in unity, but in unity of individuals, unity of different and unique people. People who are different from each other create groups that are different from each other. And they're different in their abilities, their contributions to society, their worldview, their values. Therefore, we have many completely different groups of people by culture, nationality, religion, and so on. The motto of the USA is E Pluribus Unum from many one. We must be one, but this unity is made of many. We must recognize that we are many, we are different, that we are not a mass of some cloned creatures which are exactly the same. Look at what happened last week. Countries were closing their borders, but for the first time in human history, they were closing their borders not because of fear that their neighbor would attack them, but because they were united with their neighbor in a fight against a, a disease. People are staying home and they're not visiting their neighbors, but they're not visiting their neighbors not because they dislike their neighbors, but because they're united with their neighbors in a fight against the virus. Today, we don't fly to other countries, we don't visit others, and instead we spend time with our family. We focus on what we are and what is closest to us. The whole world today closes borders and locks doors. 
We remain in our country, in our city, in our home, with our family. We feel like unique groups, each different from each other, but we are united with a common goal to defeat the disease. Real unity is not ignoring our differences. A real unity is recognizing these differences and uniting for a common single mission in spite of these differences. And this is what we are doing today. The world was never as united as it is now.